There we go. I'll try and have it up uh, tomorrow. Let me hear some noise. This is in the house. Jump, jump for joys. I said a party over here. A party over there. A party down there. Wave your hands in the air. Shake your dairy air. Between Brothers, featuring Chris and Cole Ross. Um, okay, so do we want to uh, start it? Start what? The episode? Yeah, whenever yeah. you're ready. Okay, um, well, I mean, I'll probably put all of this in, so you might as well just say what episode this is. Oh, see, so you're resigned now. You're just like, what's just, that? Just forget it. I don't just, want... just forget. Just just say what episode. We're it done. Is. Just say what episode it is. What episode is this, Chris? Hey, Cole. Hey, hey, Chris. Want to know what episode it is? Very much so. Episode number twenty nine. Twenty nine. We're almost to thirty of those damn Ross kids. Yeah, that's good. Do you, uh, okay, so so twenty five is silver. 50 is gold is is 30 like mahogany i uh, yeah probably or some walnut. kind of some kind of rosewood yeah, yeah probably okay some sort of semi hardwood yeah oh man you want to talk about hardwood um <laughs> hey chris i have good news i i put i petitioned the legislature um and here, here's here's a, a fun a fun fact. Everything that we say on this podcast, in fact, this whole podcast itself, is going to officially be considered the soundtrack for summer 2011. Oh, really? All of the high school graduates who 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 you know who who have just uh, thrown their caps up and gone forward to an empty, hollow future. Um, they're 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 going to be uh, they're going to be kicking it to our sweet sweet jams. TDRK. I can't get enough vitamin C. I can't get enough vitamin C. Graduation? No, casual misogyny. That's what we do. Mm. Do, do you want to hear something crazy, Chris? Uh, yeah. I woke up naked. In bed? Yeah. Not that crazy. Well, uh, <laughs> here's the thing. I, I woke up naked in, in my bathrobe. It was like wide open. Uh-huh. The best I can surmise, I I, I, I sleep um, in gym shorts, um, especially when it's warm, you know, just uh, gym shorts, right? Uh-huh. Um, and uh, the best I can surmise, at some point in the middle of the night, I halfway woke up, I looked at the clock, I panicked, I thought, I need to get ready for work, because I had to work this morning. Um, strange enough, I know, I, I, I do work. Um, <laughs> and uh, I think that in my half-asleep sleepwalking state i couldn't work the latch to my door because like the, the, i don't have like a working knob i just have a latch that closes it one way um and so feeling trapped in my room and naked i decided just to lay back down and fall asleep and that was weird because that's like i i have no recollection of it at all that's like pieced together you know born identity like from 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 the from the evidence that was presented to me, I do that all the time. Do you? Yeah. Wake up like wake up in strange places or wake up in strange conditions or. Yeah, but not ever. <laughs> Have I woken up <laughs> like a Hong Kong man? Like a. Oh, is this a story? This is a story. Oh, okay, great. Okay, this is sorry. a story. Oh man, I get I, I get tingles. I get tingles. See that? I, I I see it coming. Way out in the breakers, it's it's rolling in. Oh boy, it's a white cap. It's a it's a rogue. Hong Kong police received dis- a disturbing phone call from a man in trouble. Okay, a forty-one year old man was calling from Lantian Park in the middle of the night. The lonely and disturbed man had apparently thought it would be fun to have sex with one of the steel sit-up benches around the park. Okay. The bench has numerous small holes in it, which the man used to attempt to satisfy himself. (laughs) However, once he became aroused, he found that he was stuck and could not get his penis (laughs) out of the small hole. So this is like the the cross-hatched, like little diamond kind of things? That's the one. Okay. When police arrived, they found the man stuck face down 
and he had been stuck there for some time. When doctors arrived on the scene, they tried to release some of the pressure by removing some of the, some of his blood. But the penis was so swollen that they ended up having to cut the entire bench free and take it and the man to the hospital. Four painful hours later, doctors finally separated the man from, this, from the bench. Doctors stated, tragically or fortunately, that if he'd been stuck there for even an hour longer, they would have had to remove his penis. Well, necrosis would have set in. Yep. Well, I'm not going to make the easy joke here. You know, a lesser man than myself would make the obvious joke, uh, which, you know, which which has to do, you know, Chinese people, they can't get dates. He's a, he's a very lonely man. And just uh, it's a lonely culture. It's oh, a, they're three it's, to they're, one. They're, 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 yeah, they're three to one over there. They're like they're like seven to one. Um, yeah. <laughs> just find, find an attractive something with a hole in it and just, just and penetrate just, it. Just, just, just work it. Yeah. You know. Just out. <laughs> in or this in, case mostly just in, in. chris in. i think I th- <laughs> oh I mean, man i i think that this you know mostly speaks to the to the to the to the ancient power chris the unlocked potential that uh, you know, rests in all of us for the everlasting terror boner because it would stand a logic that you know, being in that stressful situation, like if <laughs> I'm like a deer in the woods, Chris, if I hear a if, if I hear a twig snap, I, I lose my erection like that. Oh, I just really? like I, I look I look up and then I and then I, you know, prance off into the distance like a deer in the woods wearing an open bathrobe. <laughs> Helicopter dick. Helicopter dick. <laughs> you spin me right around, baby. Yeah. Um. Yeah, no, but just uh, but this, but what this does is it, yeah, just 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 knocking me on the chin. Um, what what, the, what are, are you carrying your head? <laughs> um, what this speaks to is you know just uh, you can you can you can freeze your boner in place through terror, and that's what this man did. Yeah, do you remember a couple years back about the guy up in Toledo who uh, who was caught romancing his uh, his his picnic table? Dreamy. No, I, I can't say that I remember that. Oh, you don't remember that? That was like a huge thing. It was one of the. It was like one of the first like real absurd stories that I talked about on the Bearcast show. So this is like uh, like 2007 uh, or there thereabouts. Um, Bearcast being uh, University of Cincinnati's student internet radio. Um, no, it's a, it's a guy up in Toledo who uh, like <laughs> a neighbor got like night vision footage of him just like on the reg tipping his uh, circular like deck pat- like patio table on the side and uh and making sweet sweet love to the uh to the umbrella hole bearcast radio <laughs> where dreams are born that will never be fulfilled <laughs> but uh yeah he was making he was making sweet sweet love and the and like the, the problem was and the reason why you know why it was a, a news story the guy was apparently like right across from a school and uh he was doing it like during the day in plain sight of kids the joke being, of course, that the picnic table was asking for it, all gussied up, you know, like a like a trollop and her gingham uh, uh, tablecloth. <laughs> Daring him. Just, just 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 taunting him. Just real fast. Just real fast. Seen. Like he like he like and it, even, it even got to the point like where he would like roll it inside into the bedroom. <laughs> but the but the, you know the untold the un, the untold story here is why was the neighbor watching him in the first place? Mm, yeah, there's a lot of reasons. Who's who's watching the watchman? Okay, that's ha- that's the real question. <laughs> Have you ever like been with somebody and you've like tried unlocking a door and uh, you couldn't get the key in and the other person said, "Oh, you'd have less trouble if there was hair around it." No. no okay. Okay. Never. I just okay. I I wanted to know if that was an experience that I looks like somebody's got a case of the broken noses. <laughs> <laughs> yep oh my god speaking of being interrupted okay police in florida have said an officer interrupted a couple having late night sex on a diving board located more than 30 feet above a public pool that's right this is a high dive a high dive an officer on patrol near the west side pool heard noises coming from inside the facility which was surrounded by a locked fence he used his, fat, his flashlight to illuminate the couple having intimate relations atop the high dive. Officers said the 24-year-old man and the 21-year-old woman ceased their sexual activities when they were spotted. Like, like deer in the woods. Here's the payoff. Oh, man. Pool supervisor Jeff Moffat said workers used bleach to clean the diving board before the pool opened the next day. 
Oh no. Why? There are like well, seven kids. Necessary? There are like seven kids who are pregnant. Why is that necessary? Using bleach to child paralyzed after slipping off the wet spot. <laughs> Maybe that's why. Jesus. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are, are you serious in asking why that's necessary? Yeah, I mean, I know why for you, because you wipe off silverware and you're all OCD and stuff. But I cannot abide semen in a, a public place. It's a board, man. It's, a, it's not well, like it's a fruit plate. It's not like it's, a, you know, a, an operating <laughs> table, you know, it's a, although it could be. Could be. Could be. Probably was at one time. Yeah, you know, repurposing it after the war. Recycling. Yeah. It? No, that's a, that's funny. Why a diving board? Why not? Is it, is it kind of like having sex on a uh, like on like on a waterbed? Like it changes the dynamics of the resistance on the thrust. I have no idea. Yeah. I guess I was just <laughs> joining the thirty foot high club. <laughs> Too easy. Too easy. <laughs> so, so, so that was Florida, um, and, and and that's is that on the East Coast? That would be. Yeah, I think there's not another one. I am not. Can I? Can I tell? Can I tell Maybe you? There's another one. Well, there's a Florida, California. Is there? No, there's not. Um, but I will tell you something about the West Coast. <laughs> Tupac's alive, Chris. No oh, shit. I mean, we've known this for a while, but I yeah. mean, it's been confirmed um, by the website for the PBS NewsHour program. He uh, emails me about my credit score all the time. <laughs> yeah, PBS NewsHour. They broke the story. of Rapper Tupac Shakur, long thought dead is living a life of luxury in a small New Zealand town along with deceased East Coast rapper Biggie Smalls. Well, I, I should put, you know, deceased in quotes. Now, at least that's what uh, the people who hacked the website said. A hacker group named Lulz Sec uh, put up a fake news story in response to a documentary that cast WikiLeaks in an unfavorable light. Chris, information is magic, and if they say it, it's true. If anybody says anything, it's true. Especially on the internet, it doesn't go away. Just believe that. Yeah. I believe that. <laughs> I, I harbor a secret terror that we're slowly building a case against ourselves in work. This this entire experiment that we're doing, this soundtrack for summer of 2011, is going to eventually come back to bite us in a big, big way, just as, uh, just as Exhibit A <laughs> the federal interstate system was mapped out and drawn to mimic the uh, lines on the palm of Eisenhower's hand. Really? Nope. Oh, 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 I see what you did there. I see what you did there. Let's uh let's let's put that one out there. Mm, man. What would that matter? It'd be more useful than Tupac and Biggie living in New Zealand. Yeah, what what would they do down there? Can you imagine the dope records they'd cut? They would cut mad. Dope they, they, they would. They would cut. They would cut so much dope. Well, that could happen any day. <laughs> Do you have a story? Huh? Do you have a story? No. Oh, it sounded like you were leading into a story. You, 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 you take a tone of voice when you're leading into a story. Oh, really? Yeah, you do. Your voice kind of gets high. Hmm. And then, like you said, da da da, and then like pause, and then you you do kind of this monotone. In this place, this thing happened, and then. I'm just I'm just making you self conscious, Chris. Finally, I, a marketing campaign has got it right. Okay, they've embodied what I want to say to you all the time. All right. Unfortunately, <laughs> they like me are being censored. Okay. A health board in Washington State has reversed itself and voted against endorsing a colon cancer awareness campaign that uses billboards saying "What's up your butt?" <laughs> I love the glaring question mark on that. Hey, man, what's up your butt? What's up what your butt? That, that butt. What is what's hiding up there? <laughs> is it a, is it a tumor? All I'm, all I'm picturing is like a is a, is, is, a, is a doctor with a with like a miner's helmet on that has like a lantern on the front of it. Mm -hmm. a, <laughs> yep. With a pickaxe no, doctor wearing a mask with a monocle and you can you can barely make him out through the uh, the little spreader thingies. Is it like reverse goatsy? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. Yeah. So 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 he's so he's getting to, he's getting up in there with a speculum just 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 rooting around for spare change. Yeah. Just uh, just uh, raiding the Christmas stocking. 
the Benton Franklin Health District in Kennewick, Kennewick Washington, vote vote was in response to complaints the ads are in poor taste. The but, butt billboards were dis- displayed to raise colorectal cancer awareness and encourage people to get screened for the disease. Well, but but they're super effective because it gets people's attention. And it's not in a sexual way. I mean, it would have been more attention getting if it was what's up my butt. <laughs> and the guy was bent over looking backwards through his legs at you. Hey, what's up my butt? Chris, I have to confess something. Mm-hmm. Ever ever since I like re- really w- became cognizant of what a quote unquote butt plug was, I kind of have been laboring under the under the under the delusion that 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 like anybody around me could be could could be secreting a butt plug around at any given moment. It, you just like it would be impossible to tell without some kind of like radio frequency X ray machine. It's like it's, it's anybody it's, that you pass on the road. It's like your car in a store. It's it's like Blade Runner, Chris. Except instead of which one of you is a fake person, it's which one of you has something that looks vaguely like a plumb bob secreted between your cheeks. Secreted, not secreted. Dear God. Um, (laughs) No, it's secreted so that you don't secrete. Uh, Okay, I got you. I got you. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's kind. It's kind of like I, I. I. over the weekend, I was I was listening to this to this uh, uh, other podcast. It's called Lou Reads the Internet, and he was reading a uh, he was reading a forum uh, called ComeOnFood.net or something like that. And it's oh, a, yeah. it's about people who really really get off on on eating on eating semen. And apparently, there was a whole thread, um, like not just you know like you know in, in an act of love, just kind of like oh just small that's neat, uh, but just kind of like I, I put this on food and I save up like seven days worth of loads and I and I mix it into to like donut frosting, um, <laughs> donut frosting. Whoa, <laughs> whoa. Uh, but no, this was... website is not about encouraging food to do better. <laughs> Come on. <dude. laughs> Come on, food. You, it's it's, a, it's actually kind of degrading. No, but the but the moral of the story is well, there he was reading this one thread that was basically entirely about like, have you ever snuck come into somebody's food? And Chris, I am terrified. Like, I'm gonna go full on monk at this point and like only pick things up with 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 wet naps and only eat food that I've seen prepared. Some cultures think that like putting stuff in putting bodily fluid in food is like a good thing oh like 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 like, uh like voodoo witchcraft kind of thing like if a woman puts her menstrual blood in a a man's food they're like bound together for life yeah that's a thing yeah and an an indonesian maid has appeared in a hong kong court accused of adding menstrual blood to her employer's food dear god the woman mixed menstrual blood into a pot of veggies in an attempt (laughs) to improve relations between herself and her employer Oh no, that is that that's the worst. I would I would commit suicide. Like you said, it makes a little bit more sense if you consider the fact that the uh in some southeastern Asian cultures menstrual blood is thought to have special powers. The woman has been charged with one count of administering poison, destructive or noxious substances with intent to injure. Well, that's a it's it's a it's a crime. I forget if it's a misdemeanor or a felony in uh, in the U.S. But like m- making somebody ingest a bodily fluid, you like you know like like blood. It's it's technically like considered like an act of terrorism because you have no. It's like biological warfare. Yeah, it could carry diseases. Yeah, it's like it's like the worst thing in the world. See, so like the, the, well, did, did, okay. I'm, I'm sorry. I know that you get irritated when I a interrupt you and b ask you for specifics that you didn't provide. Did did mm-hmm. they say how much blood she put in? Mm, I get there. Okay. I mean, it, it, the blood wasn't the base for the veggie stew. Okay. She was caught when her female employer entered the kitchen and noticed the maid acting strangely. She caught her throwing something into the trash bin, which turned out to be a used sanitary napkin. Oh, no. When she looked into the pot of veggies, she noticed something suspicious floating around mixed with the vegetables and water. Oh, no. So apparently she was just wringing out the nappy. She, oh, she was steeping it like tea, like, 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 a, like a disgusting tea bag? I can only assume... God, Either Chris, that or she was just wringing it out. Chris, my diva cup runneth over. Uh, OK, so so this this was still a trace amounts, but it wasn't like, gee, this kind of tastes like putting my tongue on the end of a nine volt battery. This was just like she she actually caught like the source. 
Yeah. Because like just, you know, it's it's like customary, like when people do this to like put just like a little bit in because, you know, it's kind of like a it's kind of like homeopathy, like the le- the less of it that's in there, the the more powerful it is. Um, mm-hmm. But but yeah, I mean, <laughs> I just I, I picture her like by like pouring a pint glass in, you know, just really crushing the bunny with it, just shooting the cannon indoors. Do to do to do. do. <laughs> it's it's funny how that is, i mean i always knew that as like a caribbean or caribbean thing but i mean cultures have 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 weird things hey chris can i give you a quiz sure okay as well, long as you let me follow it up with another bodily fluid story oh cool yeah let's uh let's bookend this let's bookend this shit as long as the bodily fluid is shit so i'll give you time to revise your story um no so since we're talking about cultures and various things like that um the other day i i, I thought how weird is it that that our, our mom and our grandma uh always talk about like falling out like i've always taken that to be you know just kind of like a like a thing that like everybody like knew about right how they say like oh i'm gonna need to, need to eat something before i fall out or oh i need to sit down for a minute before i fall out turns out the falling out is is actually like really specific to like the like the Midwest and the Southern U.S. Like that isn't a concept anywhere else. It's a it's it's a it's a culture bound um, syndrome. Actually, now a culture bound syndrome is is a condition that is so specific to a single culture or region that it's thought that only people from that culture can 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 suffer from it. All right. Mm-hmm. So I did some research into this and I found it's actually really, really interesting. You know, some of these are psychological, some of them are physiological. I thought, well, let's let, let, let's test Chris's gumption on this. All right. Let's see if Chris can spot the fake culture bound syndrome. All right. These are from all over the world. Are you ready? I'm ready. Usual rules apply. I give you three. You tell me which one is fake. Good enough. Okay. Sun fixation. Australian in origin, sufferers who have recently suffered intense grief are entranced by the sun and, if left unattended, will stare directly into it for hours on end. This results in blindness, retardation, and insanity. And or insanity. All of those are and ors. Um, second, Lata. This is from the Middle East. When a startle reflex is triggered, the victim seizes into a trance and engages in repetitive speech or movements. And finally, susto. Specific to Latin cultures, susto is a fright sickness that results from an intense period of fear. It is believed that the spirit is scared out of the person, at least temporarily. Some symptoms are anorexia, insomnia, diarrhea, and a lack of the will to live which of those is fake the last one the last one susta mm-hmm. what's your reasoning well, i don't know okay all right uh actually no susto is real oh yeah the fake so, one whenever you say anything slightly latin with the excitement that you did <laughs> <laughs> it, it always throws me okay i just uh you know the, the, these are these are all like you know most of them have have foreign names so I, I i throw my back into the pronunciations the will to live with the will to live yeah no that's just me being a radio guy um yeah so uh sun fixation is actually the fake one he, he stared until the sun until his eyes burned out retardation yep <laughs> i was wondering if i could slip the r word by you but no nope. okay <laughs> all right set number two shin bie yong specific only to korean shaman this spirit sickness or loss of self, those are in quotes, manifests as hallucinations, loss of appetite, and complete insomnia. This is induced by initiation rituals for the shaman and can last anywhere from 8 to 30 years. Ghost sickness, a psychosis suffered by Navajo Indians, a person who associates with the dead or dying, such as somebody who works in a hospital, funeral directors, or even somebody who has recently suffered loss, will suffer recurring nightmares, pervasive terror, and feelings of suffocation as the ghosts swarm their bodies. And finally, Membantu Samangat. An Indonesian affliction wherein the sufferer experiences fits of uncontrollable exuberance and recklessness without fear of consequences since they are believed to be watched over by helpful spirits that will not let them come to harm. The Navajo. The Navajo, the ghost sickness? Mm Mm-hmm. Reasoning? That they would call them spirits, not ghosts. 
Oh, okay. I gotcha. Yeah. Actually, no, Ghost Sickness is real. The last one. Oh, yeah. Mambantu Saman got. Yeah. That one does. Uh, that one is. That one's fake. The spirit ghost thing threw me. <laughs> Sorry. You couldn't, you couldn't get it. You couldn't shake it. I'm sure there well, was. You, you used spirit in the last one. Oh, okay. Well, I, I, I associate like spirits with, with, uh, with Eastern, but you know. Oh, really? Yeah. I associate spirits with a good time. <laughs> <laughs> oh man you done done it done uh, that well okay so this last one is for you to save face okay <laughs> because so far you have your whiffed. quizzes just beat me <laughs> i'm good if, at them. if your quizzes are supposed to make me feel like you do i fucking hate your life <laughs> <laughs> i feel like this all the time god i broken and useless <laughs> yep why am i even trying yep Hey, the man, you're really catching on quick. Okay, so the last one. Piblicto. Suffered by Eskimos. The symptoms include screaming hysteria. Fake. Co- what? Fake. Can I finish? Sure. Screaming hysteria, coprophagia, which is the eating of feces, and extreme insensitivity to cold, allowing the raving victim to run around naked in the snow. Number two. Viaruga fixiaxi, Belarusian for rope fixation. Sufferers of this obsessive disorder collect rope, string, and cord like magpies, often wrapping themselves in it like mummies. Attempting to take away their rope will induce fits of incoherent rage and paralysis. And finally, koro or penis panic. Specific to China and Japan, the sufferer is convinced that their penis testicles or nipples with their female are shrinking into nothingness when the genitalia disappears the sufferer believes that death will result chris which of those is fake the first one piblicto mm-hmm. why is that because that's screaming good. <laughs> screaming fits of insanity well that that that's you know that that that's that's an, another one of those too i'm gonna give you i'm gonna give you a chance to to to, to change your answer Nope, I'm sticking with it. You're sticking with Pib with uh I'm sorry, I mispronounced it. Piblokto? Mm-hmm. Okay. Actually Piblokto is real. Um it is suffered by the Eskimo. Um Okay, which but which of the which of the other two? Which which one is big? What's the matter? <laughs> you really do get it. That's uh, that's great. We're we're why really is why we're, is this why we're making a breakthrough here. You Chris. just don't don't write any more quizzes, because this shit's not funny. It's not? No, it's awful. Okay. I mean, for my end, I mean, if someone listens to this, they could probably <laughs> can laugh because I'm going to fucking blow my brains out. Okay. All right. I'll just tell you the, the, the Viroka Fixioxi is, uh, is, is fake. That's awful. So, uh, so, so you didn't get any of those. Uh, you failed completely and utterly. Um, yeah. can, can you, can you tell me, um, the other story about bodily fluids? No, I don't want to. Well, Please do it. I want to hear it. A retired retired postal worker in Durango, Colorado, has been sentenced to 60 days in jail for spitting his own feces at a police officer. (laughs) Spitting his feces? I guessed right, didn't I? It did involve feces. 62-year-old Paul Kosalik is facing two years in jail after spitting feces at the officer named Chad Langley on February 12th. The man was being held on suspicion of drunk driving and asked to use the restroom. The officer twice found the man asleep in the bathroom and woke him up. The man later exited the bathroom, walked up to the officer, uh, officer and spit fecal matter, hitting the officer in the face. Is that like a superpower? I guess so. Did, 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 did he, okay, so the, so, the, so, the, so the poop came out of his body, and then mm-hmm. he put the poop back into his body, then he forcefully ejected the poop from the other end of his body. At he, the stores, he stored the poop at the opposite end. Yeah, he, he put it. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I gotcha. I gotcha. Yeah, that's, uh, that's, uh, yeah, that's, that's funny. Twice take the poop. Take, take this. Take did, that. Did, did he did he did did he say that I, I am I am a piranha plant from Mario and you are Mario and I am spitting this 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 shit at you but this shit is fire and it's more like a grasshopper. <sighs> okay, I got you. Yeah, that's funny. <sighs> okay, God. let Chris, me just 
I need to find a story that's going to make me feel better. Okay. I think this is going to make me feel better. Okay. Police in Washington have arrested a teenage girl for shooting her dad with an arrow after he took her cell phone. Damn it. You took my story, Chris. Serves you right. <laughs> okay, continue. I was going to make it a whole big thing. It was going to be the, the archaic weapon corner because occasionally these stories pop up where somebody uses a medieval weapon against somebody. So 15-year-old girl shoots her dad, took her cell phone. Yep, she used a hunting bow to yep. shoot him after he grounded her and took her phone. Mm-hmm. After being shot, he had to crawl to a neighbor's house to call 911. <laughs> the ultimate irony being... She wouldn't let him use the phone. <laughs> no, sorry. That is rich. The phone. That, that, that's great. The girl flied into the woods <laughs> with the bow and arrows. Attempted to make a stand. The police surrounded her. And, and took her into custody. And she's being charged with first degree assault. Ah, uh, bummer. Oh, well, Chris, I got to tell you, you got to be careful. Because, like, that's that's Emma in 10 years. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm just I'm just telling you. I mean, there are some pitfalls to this that I don't know if you've foreseen. Um, just uh, for, for God's sake, just give her whatever she wants. Either either <laughs> okay, that right. either that or don't keep weapons in the house. Yeah. <laughs> No, no, I don't think you mean. I think you mean. That's the sound of a of a of a bowstring, you know, be, be, mm. being released. I thought she was gonna play me a, a nice little song on on the saw on the <laughs> before she hacks me to pieces. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Good luck with that, Chris. I I write things down like throughout the week, just like stuff that like doesn't even make it onto my Twitter. It's like they're they're just they're just like less than they're 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 less than tweets like that's mm-hmm. all that I have the attention span to create. Yeah, I want to share one one sentence that I had written down on an index card that I found in my in my little review of my stuff here. I'm just I'm just gonna say it, and I think we should interpret it. All right. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Suck my dick while I lift weights. Eat my ass while I stack plates. <laughs> Pinch my nipple while I look through grates. I don't. I don't know. I, just, I think. I think. I think that we reached the end of that particular, of that particular thing. I don't know. I think That's I was my a, hair on roller skates. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't expect that to go anywhere, but it went somewhere. So I'm happy with it. Hey, Chris, can I take you to the Sun Zone? No. That's the production value that I bring to the official soundtrack of summer 2011. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. So uh, this is uh, this is uh, the science zone, comma fuck the ocean. All right, because the ocean is terrifying, and I want to uh, take you down there uh, once more. We did the Challenger deep before, but let's uh, let's go down there for some creatures. Now, scientists working in a desert in Morocco have discovered the remains of what once might have been the largest, most deadly predator on Earth for literally, Chris, literally millions of years. The Anomalocaridid was a three-foot-long shrimp-like creature with soft joints, a gaping tooth-filled maw, and uh, a covering of sharp blade-like gills. Now I'm going to I'm going I'm going to send you uh, I'm going to send you a, a link to the story so you can see this thing because it's utterly horrifying. I want your reaction once you open that. Looks like a fish. Sort it of. does. Yeah, it's like it's like a shrimp. Sort of lobstery. Yeah. Walrus. Looks like it looks like kind of fluttery. It has, has like has like big useless eye things. Yeah, this it just real. It just it's it's horrifying, right? Now that they, they lived on the seafloor and stomped around like monsters, reigning over their kingdom and eating their fill from the various animals around them. Uh, this lasted until other competitors out evolved the Anomalocaridid and became better adapted to the environment. Uh, now um, this type of animal was actually iconic of the Cambrian period from which it came, quote from one of the uh, scientists, these giant invertebrate predators and scavengers have come to symbolize the unfamiliar morphologies displayed by organisms that branched off early from lineages leading to modern marine animals and then went extinct. 
The takeaway being, evolutionary dead ends are ugly and terrifying. And finally, fuck the ocean. There are monsters, Chris. All we have to do is go back like a fraction of like the entire history of our planet. And it's like an alien fucking world. It's an alien world, dude. It's an, it's a, it's an alien world, Chris. They're, 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 they, they lived among us. We're walking over top of the remains of beings just unfathomable in their horror. The, the, this thing, picture, picture a shrimp, like the thing that you eat at all you can eat shrimp fest at the red lobster or a lobster, even three foot long. Picture it chasing after you in the night down a long, dark hallway that keeps getting longer as you go. I don't know. Am I crazy? That's terrifying to me. I was frozen in panic. Okay. All right. Okay, cool. All right. Okay. Well, you, you really like science. I do. It's neat, right? Yeah. I, I just, you, you know, I think that. You know, At the I, old, you can eat lobster shrimp fest. <laughs> I like science. I mean, just uh, just you know, I think that there that, that that there is wonder, and it doesn't have to be supernatural. In fact, it can be just plain natural, or you know, subnatural, as the case may be. The picture that you sent me, yeah, l- looks looks fake. I think it's a it's a recreation based it on the fossils, like, based, yeah, I mean, based on the like fossils a, that they like have. A doodle. <laughs> It, it looks like honestly, it looks like a creature like from like from a from a, like an H.P. Lovecraft story. Yeah, it looks like prehistoric oceanic uh, Mr. Potato Head. <laughs> what it looks like it is a, right. yeah, it's it just is. like the lobster tail oh. is the body, and then you put stuff on it. Oh, so you, uh, are you are you telling me that they assembled it wrong? This yeah. com- this composite. Okay. Yeah. All right. It's just it's 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 rough. It's 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 rough. Horror is unknown, Chris. If you turn him upside down, he looks like a cute cartoon named Flippy. But, <laughs> Flippy, I love mm-hmm. that guy. Flippy, he 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 had a, he had those adventures with the magic key that could open any door. It was British, was it? Well, yeah, I mean, obviously, he yeah, he, it was it was British because he kept on riding that lorry into the into into the lift in the loo. Mm, yeah, yeah, being chased Lots by of other L words, be, being chased <laughs> being chased by bobbies into lobbies. Bob. No, lobby, <laughs> lobby doesn't count. Damn it! I almost had a streak going. Yeah. Well, <laughs> can I can can I keep you in the in the science corner? Yeah, as long as you keep on pounding on your desk. That was my heartbeat. Okay. According to Canadian researchers, women find happy men less sexually attractive than those with expressions that sh- that show pride, or hint that they have done wrong and they know it. <laughs> The study published online Tuesday in the American Psychological Association Journal of Emotion showed pictures uh, to the opposite sex of both men and women. Participants were then asked for their initial reactions on sexual attractiveness based on the expressions they saw. Men who smile were considered fairly unattractive by women. The men's reaction was just the opposite. Women who smile are absolutely more attractive. That was by far the most ex- attractive expression w- women showed in the study. Okay. In a man, a big smile may make him appear too feminine or more desperate for sex. I, I, I thought that being visually male made you appear desperate for sex, but whatever. It could be. could be the cold sweats and the t-shirt that says please. <laughs> and the look that says please. The study also adds fuel to the notion that women are attracted to bad boys. A slightly downcast expression of shame is an appeasement gesture that hints at a need for sympathy. Okay. Men also found sexual attractiveness in women whose expressions of body language hinted at shame. (laughs) Is is, is this all like going back to you? Like, like we, we all like people like I'm a bad boy. I'm a, I'm a loner, daddy, a rebel. You don't want to get mixed up with somebody like me. Is is that, is that No. I, yeah, no, I'm saying no, I don't want to get tangled up with you. Oh, no, no. But, yeah, no, I guess so. I'm in shame. I'm shamed. Well, wh- <laughs> I feel shame. I feel shame, like, at the at the, at the the cretinous, indolent way I live my life, but that's not attractive, is it? Because, like, if, 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 if shame was a measure of sexual success, I should be, I should, I, I should be knee deep in, 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 uh, in tram. But, you know, no, like a, like a, like a, why why would why would somebody want to be with somebody who isn't happy? 
like I would, I would, I would think a, a you know, a, a woman based, you know, would, would want to be with a happy guy just so that she could tear him down a notch with her, with her, with her, with her you know, just soul stealing you know, harpy ways. But there's something to do there. Yeah. There's a project. I got stuff to work on. Yeah. I got stuff to work on. I got to break this guy down. He's happy and I'm going to end that. <laughs> gonna, just, I'm going to, I'm going to murder that like a thief in the night um no that's that's unfair that's unfair God. no i just said you know all of this goes back to like evolutionary biology and just these weird dynamics and these gender roles that we've established over over millennia none of this is is new oh i just thought of an awesome tattoo <laughs> that thing i just said no, you know, like on a Capri Sun, how it has that little like spot where you're supposed to, or like or even a drink box where you're supposed to jam in the straw, and it's got little, it's got little words around it that says like insert straw here. I bet there, I bet if there was hair around it, you, you would have an easier time. Yeah, this is the <laughs> this is the joy hole. Insert straw and suck. <laughs> Jesus, that's the that, that that's probably Chris. I'm going to be honest with you, the most crass thing I've ever heard. What? It just it's it's a pretty crass thing to say for for Why? for for you to. I don't know. I'm not I'm not saying it's like a bad thing. I'm crass all the time, but that was that was that was pretty crass. It's a really good tattoo idea. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> also, please, written in like travel script. <laughs> please, <laughs> with a question mark. I just can I can I can I tell you something that really irritates me about Cincinnati, the city where I live right now? Go for it. <laughs> Native Cincinnatians, especially from the west side, I've, I've I've noticed this. They don't say excuse me. Like, you know, like just when when they don't understand you or when they when they when they can't hear you. Please? It's like you son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah, it's uh it's it's like it's the worst cuz I say it in that Cincinnati let's say it's like please it's like, ugh, no. I would about come again. Give me about 15 minutes. Um, just, <laughs> can you just give me a minute? Just please, just real just, fast. Just, just stop it. You're insatiable. Can I tell you about something that happened in, on Easter? No, that it was, was only else. discovered like the first week of May. How um, many weeks is that? How that's, many, that's, like, that's, is like, that? that's like a straight month. Like a month? I'm just about... On Easter weekend, a middle-aged South Korean man killed himself. After an investigation, police in South Korea say the man killed himself by crucifixion. Found in an abandoned quarry, the man had gone to great lengths to ensure his death emulated the death of Jesus Christ. In addition to being nailed to a wooden cross, he was wearing only a pair of underwear and a crown of thorns atop his head. He had self-flagellated his torso, as well as stabbed his side. So, so self-flagellated. Flagellated. Fl- 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 yeah, fl- fl- like, as, as as in the Latin root of fl- flagellum, which is whip. Oh well, he did that. Okay. According to police, the man's religious faith helped him endure the pain. An autopsy revealed that he died from a mix of bleeding from the stab wounds and suffocation, the latter of which likely due to the stabbing. One thing remains unclear, however, is whether or not he was given any assistance. It's yeah. thought after whipping and stabbing himself, he drilled holes in his hands and slipped them through the already driven nails. Jesus what? Christ. Jesus drive, Christ. Drive nails. Well, no, it's kind of like how, like it's it's like two two people like it's, it's like a lateral thinking puzzle almost. You, you know, how, how, how do you cut both of your hands off? Yeah. You know, with uh, without without the aid of like a power like a power saw, you know. WWJD. <laughs> that that thing right there, <laughs> that thing he just did, all yeah, all yeah. all of those things in a row that would lead except to that. For that last part. Except for that. Okay, so this was so. See, the problem is he did it on Easter. If he did it on Good Friday, we'd all be we'd, we'd all be set. We'd we'd all be yeah. kick we'd all be kicking it in heaven. Well, not 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 me, but you know. The police reenacted the scenario and determined that it was entirely possible that a man could do what this guy did without assistance. Okay, which I think is pretty incredible. It's a testament to human willpower. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the body is an amazing thing. We put a lot of holes in it. <laughs> yeah, well, it's kind of like a Jewish thing, though. You have to, you have to, you have to go out as you came in, so no tattoos and all that. I think, I think another thing is go, 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 go out with no more holes than you came in with, you know, 
which is why sex change is you know is, is illegal. That that's incredible to me. In the in 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 the Talmud, um, Chris, have you ever have you ever had like a collection? Yeah, I had some baseball cards and stuff. Yes, yeah, sure. some baseball cards. I I don't know if I've ever had a collection. Like, he collects like strategy guides and books and stuff. Well, that's that's not a collection though. That's not like a that's not like a curated thing. Those are all, the, the those are all like things that I that I got at one point and have never gotten rid of. Like I don't I don't consider that a collection. Like when you know like when I was little I you know I, I had like Pokemon cards or something like that. I've never had the willpower to be like that this 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 is my clothespin collection that I'm going to take to 100 day. You, you know it, it wasn't. It was. It wasn't as. It was never cut and dry like that. I've never had that kind of obsession. And like you see this in people who like just like like massively download pornography, you know, just like to hold on to it and keep and treasure forever and incriminate them later, mm-hmm. keeping it separated into into uh, into different folders. One's you know like you know girl on girl. One's you know guy on girl. And the other one is unforgivable. But. <sighs> Yeah, I don't know. I've never, I've never had that particular kind of madness. I suppose I just, I just have a lot of things that happen to be that happen to have things in common. But is it really just baseball cards? Yeah, that's, that's it. I don't collect okay. anything else. Okay. All right. I mean, I, I don't. I guess I, I have never collected anything else. I don't, I don't continue to collect baseball cards. Right. You still, you still have them though. No, they're mom's. Yeah. Like in a closet. They're like they're in a closet in the box, long forgotten. Yeah, but they're there. They exist. Then you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I I'm 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 like a werewolf, but except when the full moon comes out, I turn into Jerry Seinfeld. They exist. What like? <laughs> What's that? that? What it sounded like. Yeah, just a little bit. You'll hear it in the recording. Don't worry. Sorry. <laughs> Fix that. They they exist. <laughs> They, 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 what? I'm sorry. They exist. What's the deal? That's all, that's all I heard. Chris, you're a lycanthrope, but instead, instead of, instead of being. No, cold. they exist. Okay. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Your self-esteem is in the gutter today. They exist, Cole. Do they? Yes. Is, is that kind of like the Rowdy Roddy Piper movie? They live? You don't even know him. I, I, I knew him before he was Rowdy. And then I knew him when he got too rowdy, Just rambunctious. But when he when he was when he was rowdy or rowdy Piper, Super rambunctious, rowdy, rowdy Piper. <laughs> I, I knew him when he was rowdy, rapacious, rowdy, 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 rowdy. You know, you know, you know. He does comedy now, right? Who? Tracks all Jim Dugan. <laughs> I, I can't play this game with you. you I can't. Jimmy D. <laughs> I can't play this game with you. I wasn't a wrestling guy when I was little. Like I was, I, I, I mean, I, 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 of course was swept up in the, in the, in the whirlwind that was Hulkamania, but you know, really, <laughs> you weren't, we, I, 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 I think yeah. that, you know, I, I think that we were all Hulkamaniacs at one point. Yeah. Okay. I just want to make sure Yeah. that was, bef- that was before his skin took on the consistency of, of, of jerky. Um, that wasn't jerky. <laughs> It was a plum pot dog. <laughs> What's that from? What? What's that from? The bum hot dog. <laughs> the the bum hot dog? The bud the bum dog. The bum dog? The bum dog. <laughs> yeah, that was that was Flippy's sidekick. <laughs> the, the bum dog. <laughs> Flippy and the bum Split dog. Down the middle, chili's laid in it. <laughs> <laughs> We're done, that's it. <laughs> This has been those damn rockets. Okay, so let's go through this really quick. That way, people will listen to the uh, to the entire thing. Things you can do: you can go to those damn rockets dot com. There, you can find old episodes of the show. You can uh, find us on iTunes there from the uh, links in the post. You can subscribe to us uh, through iTunes. That's the best way to, uh, to to get this program. This program. While you're there in the iTunes window, you can rate us. You can write us a nice little review. Um, and also from the website, you can follow the show on Twitter. It's TDRK Podcast. 
Um, that is an entertaining thing where you can get updates about the show. You can also send me an email at those damn Ross kids at duckfeed.tv. The, the quest to fill duckfeed.tv with content is, uh, is, is, is ongoing. I am looking for uh, the best way to organize that as we speak. Uh, what else can they do, Chris? Can you think of anything? I think you knocked it all out really fast and that's good. So that way everybody will listen and do everything you say. Yep. Do, do what we say. Obey Chris. Great, I mean, you've already obeyed, so I'm gonna Definitely. I'm gonna say, yeah, let's uh, let's let's all obey, uh, let's all obey and eat some sorbet. Everybody listen. Everybody listen to the things we say. Come on, party people.